Oh no, sir! You have a wife and you called us like that? Drama! Hello and a welcome to Plumeria Plate and a welcome to the 100 Baby Challenge. I'm very excited for this episode because we finally have the Love Struck expansion pack now. So I'm thinking we'll definitely have Ashton go on some dates and maybe meet baby daddies that way instead of our get together club. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. So for starters, we did give Ashton a few Love Struck outfits. So she does have the other outfits that she always had, but we also gave her a few Love Strucks as well. Ashton's always worn a lot of like greens and pinks. So we kind of stuck with that theme, but here is one of her everyday outfits. Then we gave her this new formal look. Does this hair not look like a stylized version of the hair that she always wears? So we did that. I thought that was so cute. And then I did something similar for her date night outfit. I just thought it was fun. I thought it was precious. And then we also gave her another little hot weather and another little cold weather. But while we're in cast, let's do a quick roll call. So we have our mom, Sim Ashton, and then our daughter, Jelly, who just turned into a teenager last episode. We've got the twins, Knox and Kit. And then we have our newest little baby, Lucy. But Lucy was just born tonight, technically. So she's not very tired at all. Her needs are fine. So I'm gonna have her start doing the look at toys and we're gonna start working on milestones that way. If you didn't know, the way that we're playing this is teens and children have to have an A in school. Toddlers have to have level three in all skills and infants have to have two milestones in every category except for life. So that is the rules we're playing by. Jelly needs to do her homework and eat and then we can get her off to bed and I think the boys are already in bed yeah Kit and Knox are already asleep so they're up there. Ashton has a lot of rewards now so she does not get very tired very easily she's seldom sleepy has a still bladder is hardly hungry she completed the freelance botanist aspiration and the crystal crafter aspiration last episode so we also got those two. I do need to give actually that was part of the reason I went into cast and then I forgot I need to give her like romantic likes and dislikes so for starters Ashton is only interested in men romantically because this is the 100 baby challenge, so we need them to be men sims. I don't think she'd get jealous, and I don't think she'd be open to changing that. Ashton is not here for long-term relationships. She is just here for the challenge. As far as likes and dislikes go, I'm gonna have her like all romantic styles, because once again, this is the 100 baby challenge. And Ashton does not care about physical appearance, not hair color or outfit color. I really don't think Ashton <laughs> cares about any of this, so maybe we just leave it neutral. I've never left it neutral before since the pack came out, so I'll be interested to see how that affects it, but she will like all romance styles. So now you can see in her social panel, none of it will trigger jealousy, which is good because she has a lot of romantic partners. She would feel jealous often, I fear. Oh, and look, little Lucy just got her reach milestone already. So we'll stop and have her play with toys instead. And Apollo is here in the office. He's biting my wrist. So if you hear me say, ow, and I forget to cut it out, he is the reason, but he's in my desk cubby at the moment. <laughs> and Ashton is currently painting, I think though, I wanna change her aspiration to one of the new Love Struck ones. We could do both of the Love Struck ones. Paragon Partner is probably the easiest and Ashton can't get married, but I feel like it would be okay if we had partners just for the sake of the aspiration. Or we could also do Romantic Explore, which doesn't require you to have any kind of romantic partners. So let's do that one. And y'all let me know about uh, the Paragon partner if you think that that is in line with the 100 baby challenge or not, cause I'm really not sure. Oh, oh, Grim is here. Oh, also somebody told me that you can in fact have a science baby with Grim. You just have to be better friends. And I really wanna have a science baby with Grim. <laughs> So while he's here, I don't know why he's here. They're kind of friends now. Maybe he just came over to hang out. We had summoned him last episode, but I, you'll find out soon enough. That's ominous. <laughs> Rim. <laughs> okay, Lucy just got her grab milestone unlocked. Lucy wants to go night night. So maybe let's let her just try to go night night where she's at. <laughs> we might just need to get rid of the cribs and only have the play mat, but I'm not sure. I don't think they get as good of sleep on the play mat. What are you stuck by? She's like stuck in the room, but I don't know why. Ashton just left the exact same room. <laughs> let me reset her. Hello, darkness, my old chum. <laughs> Befriend the Grim Reaper. <laughs> well, that we did, didn't we? What has you stuck? I don't understand. 
I'm gonna teleport her just because I can't be bothered right now, but I'll figure that out later. Well, can we have a baby with the Grim Reaper now? Let me check the phone. Maybe we have to be like besties. It's not giving me the option. Aw, Lucy's a snuggly sleeper. I've got bad news for you, Luce. Oh, I think he's leaving. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> Bye, Grim. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so Jelly's finally off to bed, which is good because it's at 2.30 in the morning and she has school tomorrow, <laughs> but she'll be fine. Oh, it looks like Knox is up this morning already. I'm gonna let Ashton just sleep for a little while. She hasn't actually gotten any sleep yet today. <laughs> oh, and then Seeking is broken. We'll just replace it. Mop that up for me, will you, Knox? <laughs> oh, Lucy's hungry. Okay, Ashton's actually being a good parent today, it would seem. I'm gonna not interrupt her. <laughs> gonna actually let her parent as she was meant to. <laughs> So she's feeding Lucy and Ashton seeds are good. So let's get some tummy time out of the way because we need to get pregnant. But I kind of wanted Lucy to be a little more situated before we got pregnant. Oh, Lucy has a good appetite. That's actually a really good one to have. All right, do it. Oh, it's Winterfest. The kids don't have school today. Oh, that's a bummer actually. They really wanted them to grade up today. That's okay though, we'll be fine. We can at least work on some skills today. I'm gonna have Ashton do another tummy time with little Lucy. Okay, Kit just got level two mental, which is what he needed to get a grade up in school. But we're gonna keep having them build skills because the more you build the skills, the quicker you can grade up. Oh, Lucy just got her lift head milestone. Come on, Ashton, give me another tummy time. Lucy's fine, you're fine, everyone's fine. No, 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 what are you doing? No, 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 Lucy does not need to go to sleep. Lucy needs to do tummy time. Oh, our decorations are up. Look at how cute that is. Love that. Oh, our cow plant's hungry. Wait, 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 come feed the cow plant, please. <laughs> we do not have to keep the cow plant if that turns into a problem. I'm gonna do my best to keep him fed and happy, <laughs> but should he start eating our family, then we'll have to pivot. Although I'm pretty sure you're, <gasps> oh no. Um, okay, well, here's the thing though. He's dead, right? But it's like letting her do stuff with him still. So is it a visual glitch? Oh, it was a visual glitch. I reset him and he came back. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Why don't we let her do some of the gardening? Ashton's done with this aspiration, so we could also get rid of the garden if we wanted to. But maybe it wouldn't be bad for Jelly to work on like another skill like that. I'm gonna have Ashton come downstairs and cook the grand meal. Why don't we do a ham dinner since it is Winterfest? Ham feels right for some reason. Okay, well you need to sleep then. She's angry, but she just needs to sleep and that would fix her problems. <laughs> I'm gonna have Jelly come in and put on the lullaby for her. And then I'm gonna be clearing this area out. We have a table and chairs that we put out for our family during the holidays. So let me grab that so everyone can eat together as a family. <laughs> Ooh, Kit got mental level three. Oh, I guess I need a pile of presents, don't I? We'll get this a really big one. We have quite a large family. <laughs> Where should we put that? I didn't consider holidays <laughs> when I built this lot. We can put it in this room. <laughs> Oh, and I have a crib I can sell. I didn't even see that in there. Lucy's needs are really bad. So maybe let's have Jelly take care of her really quick while Ashton is making the dinner. Oh, she literally just had her first blowout. <laughs> Come on, Jelly. Jelly's being a little glitchy this episode. I don't know what she's got going on, but she's not doing what I need her to do. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, I guess we need to give her a bath. Why is she not moving? Oh my God, Jelly. Okay, let me at least get her in the room. I don't know why she's like not. Okay, there we go. I think we've got it now. Where's Ashton? No, 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 Ashton, don't you dare interrupt. Where did Ashton put the food? The Grim Reaper is calling. <laughs> Grim, I do want to go on a date, but it's Winterfest and the baby's in a bad spot. I mean, I gotta say yes. <laughs> have to stay but I don't want to ruin our relationship by saying no. Oh we can give him a Winterfest gift. Why don't we give him, what do we think the Grim Reaper would like? Maybe a moonstone? Did he just leave? Grim. Oh no. <laughs> Wait. He's, he left but he didn't leave. Oh I don't know if he liked it or not. <laughs> Oh, now she's saying bye. Okay, well, I guess the date's over. <laughs> Let's go home. I can't believe he asked us on a date and then he left. I bet somebody died. He probably had to go to work if I know the Grim Reaper. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I guess Ashton's gonna have to take care of the baby because wow, wow. Let's feed her and give her a bath because 
We have to take care of Lucy first. Jelly, you didn't do anything. Look at you sitting right there while the baby's been on the floor just crying. Oh, and we got bills. I never found my mailbox in other news, so I guess let me grab a mailbox. Well, if you're not gonna help take care of the baby, can you at least come pay the bills? She is really tired and I feel bad for her, but we have to get her cleaned up first, right? Like she has to have a bath first. Elizabeth, oh, I deleted Elizabeth's CC. That's why she's bald. I've been doing a CC clean out. Let's give Lucy a bubble bath. Until she gets the bath, we'll have Ashton feed her and then we can get her back to sleep. I feel like maybe let's call everybody to our grand meal, but I don't know what Ashton did with the grand meal. Oh no, she didn't finish it, Ashton. You just left that in the oven? How dare you? <laughs> oh, they're jokesters. I think that's cute. Did she? Okay, no, listen, I'm cheating it. I'm cheating it. I've told them to feed this baby like a billion times. I can't. <laughs> I can't. She's been fed. As far as I'm concerned, she was fed. I don't know what glitch is happening there. I can't deal with it. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Ashton, oh my God, be so serious right now. Ashton, you have to finish this dinner. Oh my God, they're not cooperating. <laughs> it's worse than usual. I'm gonna let Jelly like observe the sky or something. Maybe we can have the two kids play on the monkey bars because I need them to not eat autonomously. Ashton, she has to be finishing it soon, right? Oh, wait, hi there. You don't know me, but I saw you from afar and asked a mutual friend for your number. I hope you don't mind. I'm just hopelessly attracted to you. I promise I'm chill. Would you like to meet me? This is just a secret admirer, but we could still maybe make them our next Baby daddy, potentially? I guess he could stay for dinner. Oh, that's who that is? Okay, well, we met him. Look, right when you do that, you get like such a high romance bar right off the bat. So I think we could probably go ahead and have a baby with him if we wanted to. I mean, we might as well. <laughs> all right, let's call the family to the grand meal and have them all stop what it is that they're doing. Ooh, they're both very satisfied. She got cooking level nine too. Let's have the grand meal together. Can we try for a baby with that guy? We have to have our first kiss first probably. <laughs> okay, well Ashton had a good winter fest. Even if nobody else did, Ashton did. And she is my only concern. <laughs> Maybe that's wrong of me to say, but it's true. Oh, they're having their first kiss. Cuties. I bet we can have a baby with him now. No? I feel like your romance bar is high enough. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. I don't even know who this guy is, but <laughs> let's have a baby with him. No, Kit, do not play in the trash. Clean up. Um, He's suggesting a date, which I love, but I mean, we're about to be in the middle of something, so I'm gonna say not right now. And there is something in this room that is blocking. Maybe we put this in our inventory. I don't wanna get rid of it yet, just cause we might use it one day and we'll scoot the easel. I think the easel could potentially be the problem for the bedroom. Okay, they're trying for the baby now. Let's see, did we get pregnant? Take a pregnancy test. Yay, okay, we're pregnant, perfect. And then I need to get a picture of this guy for our tracker. This guy has a whole family. <laughs> oh no, sir. You have a wife and you called us like that? Drama. Okay, we do have him added into our tracker now. So he will have baby number 15. But uh, let's get Ashton to maybe go to sleep. Um, Cause she's already had a good winter fest and we do not like Father Winter. Ashton doesn't at least. This guy can go home. Bye, it was nice having you here. You can leave now though. And then why don't we have the kids come all open presents together? Ashton already did a present cause she gave one to the Grim Reaper. So she doesn't really have to participate. Oh no, somebody got a lump of coal. <laughs> somebody got a dollhouse and somebody got a mega couple of books. All right, well, that's nice. So we can delete this. Honestly, the kids are not that tired and I really would like for Jelly to age up. So maybe we'll have her start working on her school project. Poor little Lucy is still trying to recover from her traumatic afternoon today. So we're gonna leave her be. Oh, I do have this crystal that helps us sleep better. Where is it? This one. So she should sleep a little bit faster. Oh, Father Winter's here. Oh good, it's not the one that we used to know. We have some drama with Father Winter that was caused in one of the earlier episodes. <laughs> so yeah, we're not a huge fan of him. Okay, it looks like 
Kit is the only one who hasn't had a successful Winterfest yet. So maybe we'll at least have him come ask Father Winter for a present. Oh, he got bubbles. Wait, that's kind of cute. Right. Well, now that we've done that, I say let's get the kids off to bed. Oh, Lucy hates wake up time. Oh, Ashton's up though. <laughs> Hi, Ashton. Didn't know you were up, girl. Why would you put that baby down and not feed her? Ashton, geez, you're the worst sometimes. Oh, you need to be asleep, buddy. I'm for bed. Well, while everyone's good, I mean, let's do some tummy time. <laughs> Might as well. Because Lucy has both of her first and she's got both of her fine motor, so we just need the rollover to back. Oh, and she just got a social. Nice. We can age her up. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Actually, though, why don't we go ahead? Let's age Lucy up and then we can go ahead and potty train her before the new baby gets here. Baby Lucy has aged up, so she is going to be inquisitive. Okay, I don't hate that for her. Let's get her some potty help and hopefully go ahead and get her where she can potty by herself before the new baby comes and she needs to go potty anyway, so it's as good a time as any. Ashton just reached level 10 parenting skill. Ooh, maybe we should swap to one of the parenting aspirations. There's so much that Ashton could do, like Ashton's very romantic, but she also has to do a lot of parenting. I never know what I want for her. I want her to do everything. I only want the world for Ashton, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna do another potty help. I really, really want her to get this skill to level two so she can start pottying by herself. It's very important to me. <laughs> and she's a little sleepy, but Ashton is doing just fine. So like we might as well. Oh, perfect, she got potty level two. So we can let her go to sleep for the night. Oh, I didn't realize Jelly had finished her project. Oh, okay, the kids are up. Oh, it's time for school. <gasps> I completely forgot about taking care of the kids. Okay, we're not going to school with them. I don't care what that says. <laughs> Okay, the kids are all off to school. Oh, needs are not great. Um, but we will go ahead and set them all to study hard. Then why don't we have Ashton come do some gardening? Because our cow plant is hungry and the baby is asleep. So we might as well. So also, I don't know if you remember our crystal tree kind of glitched last episode. And now it's just like a tiny crystal tree again. So it didn't technically die. I guess it was just reverting back to like a base level. But I don't know why it would do that because it is a magnificent crystal tree but who am i to question the sims oh my god i just fed this cow plant <laughs> the gardening's done other than feeding the cow plant again and i think it might be fun to take ashton on a date today so we can start working on this little aspiration right here. So why don't we get into Cupid's Corner? I feel like Ashton, we'll do young adults and adults, but Ashton would be fine with elders. Ashton's not picky. Maybe we'll share that we are, oh, I don't know. Ashton's got so many. Maybe romantic and family oriented would be good ones. I kind of like her picture, so I don't think I'm gonna change it. I mean, <laughs> this might sound bad, but like, what if we just liked everyone? <laughs> I literally don't care. I'll have a, ooh, wait, I think somebody in my comments mentioned Caleb. I mean, I know I thoroughly regretted a werewolf baby, but maybe a vampire baby wouldn't be as bad. <laughs> Not Vlad. I have to, I'm sorry. I do really like Caleb. I think Caleb's good. Let's do a date with Caleb. I'm almost positive I saw somebody mention in my comments they wanted to see him as the next baby daddy. So I'm just saying, that's fun. Let's go to a coffee shop. So we'll do be friendly drinks, food. Maybe we'll do like just a little romance and then we'll head to this. It's called the Brutiful Day. I'll link it in the top now. I did a must have lots in San Sequoia is one of my earlier YouTube videos and this was featured in there. So if you wanna go see who that creator is and whatnot, it's all in that video. I think it's very cloudy today, so he should be safe. But let's see if we can have a nice little date with Caleb. Oh, they are like hitting it off. Look, their green bar is already so good. Maybe we try the flirt flirtation a little bit, maybe a little a little flirt, a little pickup line. Oh, she got romance level two already. Oh, we're gonna need to get one of the blankets. We don't have to do it all today. I, I get like too excited, but this is actually kind of an easy one to complete. So, I mean, we might as well lean into it, you know? Well, Ashton is hungry and it is wanting us to eat something and drink something. So maybe let's get a little coffee, maybe a little croissant. Although, oh my God, the game just glitched. The barista just left. Okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. That's okay. We can do some more small talk. Maybe she'll come back. Hello, barista. Um, okay, she's back. <laughs> Let me go order some food. It wants us to share deep thoughts 
thoughts. So let's have a deep conversation. Oh no, there was one that said discuss fear of vampires. Should we debate the existence of vampires with him? <laughs> He's like, no, they're real, I assure you. <laughs> we can flirt a little bit more. Maybe we exchange numbers, compliment his appearance. It wants us to drink something too, so let's get her a little drink. Let's share some of our personality and see if he vibes with us at all. Is this cafe not the cutest, by the way, while they're still socializing? Like, this little area, so precious to me. Oh, they just became good friends. Wait, are they gonna be besties? Honestly, I kind of like the idea of her being really good friends with Caleb because he's a vampire, so he should live forever. And she's pregnant all the time, so she might not live forever, but she's gonna live for a really, really long time. So I feel like it might be nice if they were really good friends. Also, Apollo's being literally so sweet in my lap right now. You see his little head? <laughs> oh, listen, I feel like it could be fun but we have a lot of kids to worry about. So I don't know if we can manage this. I mean, I guess we could try it. And if she fails, it's like not that big of a deal. Does this date count though? I feel like this date should count if we get a gold date, which I think we're about to. Oh, grades are up. We got a B student, B student. I guess they're all B students. <laughs> okay, we need to do like one more thing. So let's share deep thoughts again. I really hope this date counts. Otherwise it's gonna feel not like a waste of time, but like kind of, you know? Okay, perfect. We have a gold date. So why don't we end the date cheerfully and see if it counts towards our uh, zero out of seven wild dates. <laughs> okay, we got a gold date and it counted. <laughs> I've never actually completed this before. So I don't know what happens if you complete all seven dates, but maybe we should try. It's gonna be kind of hard because we're pregnant and all. What if, let's ask him on another date. Ashton's needs are fine and he's a vampire, so his should probably be fun too. Cause they're really hitting it off and maybe now we can take him on a romantic date. Yes, okay. So why don't we be romantic, physical intimacy, woohoo drinks. Let's go to the new world. We'll go to the nightclub there. Cause they, I know there's woohoo spots on lot at the new ones. I don't think there's woohoo spots on lot at like the worlds that I already have placed, but maybe we need to change that. Let's go inside first of all, cause it's sunny. I don't play with vampires very often. So I don't know if he is like good in the sun or not. I know they have like a trait where they can be, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm not trying to kill Caleb. I quite like Caleb. And Ashton just got level three romance. I feel like this is a good way to work on her romance skill because you know, you know, Ashton would have way more romance than what she has, but we're having to start from scratch and I'm not gonna cheat it. I feel like I would be justified in cheating it, but I'll play fair. So going on seven dates would be a really good way to get her romance level where I feel it should actually be. <laughs> oh, they can have their first kiss. Okay, yeah. Cause we need to do light physical intimacy anyways. Oh my God, it's so precious. Ooh, let's order her favorite drink. I'd actually love to know what her favorite drink is. I don't know if I've ever seen it before. Her favorite drink is a buffalo wing tea. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of feel like that fits Ashton. <laughs> Ooh, wait, he didn't like something that we just did. Not like romantically, but the satisfaction. Also, we're about to go woohoo with him. So first woohoo ever in the closet at the nightclub. <laughs> Love that for them. <laughs> oh, Ashton just got level five of the charisma skill too. <laughs> I feel like doing the dates is gonna help her build a lot of skills like that. And we're so close to a gold date, so I think we're gonna be able to do it. It's just wanting us to talk about a bunch of random stuff now. So I'm just clicking through all of that. But I like to live together. I can't, I can't live with you. I'm not allowed to move another sim into my household against the rules. I'm so sorry. I'm hoping with this next one she's doing, we'll have a gold date. And then Ashton's knees are kind of bad. So we do need to go home. <laughs> Okay, gold date, perfect. So let's end the date cheerfully and go home. And then that'll be two out of our seven wild dates. <laughs> wild, these have been so calm. <laughs> the calmest dates you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure none of the kids got A's, but let me triple check. So we've got all B students, which is not a problem. Jelly and Kit need to level up another skill before they can get an A. So let's get them to the correct levels and then we'll get them to sleep. I would love an age up tomorrow if possible. Okay, Kit just reached a level four mental, which is what he needed. While the kids are in here doing their homework, I'm actually gonna stop Lucy from doing our other stuff and just have her watch them back and forth. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is the best way to build the mental skill. It's so good. And they're just like sitting in her room. So she might as well, you know? Oh, look, she already reached level two thinking. Okay, my stuff is glitching out just a little bit. <laughs> not my favorite it's not like breaking anything but look so like i'm on lucy right now but if i go to jelly it stays on lucy's stuff until i click off of it and then click back on same for if i go back so that's a little weird this is the best time to watch them though when they're not walking anywhere like she's just watching them do their homework perfect jelly just got level three of her logic skill so that's what she needed so let's have her do her homework and then she can go to bed i need grade ups tomorrow i need everybody to be prepared to age up. I hope to have a really big birthday tomorrow. She's literally so close to level thinking three. I have to have her watch Jelly one more time. I think we'll have it after that. Look at that go. <laughs> oh, we didn't quite get it. Okay, one more time, one more time. Perfect. Also, it looks like a lot of our food spoiled. So I'm cleaning that up right now. I'll get Ashton to get some more food in a little bit, but I'm gonna get all the needs taken care of to start the day because I need everybody to be in a good place so we can get some great ups happening. And just a quick check in on Ashton. We're going to be in our third trimester in 13 hours. So could be having that new baby tomorrow sometime if I had to guess. Oh, and Lucy hates a wake up time, which is not ideal, but we can survive that. <laughs> At least she doesn't hate going to sleep. That's the real problem. I'm not joining kids to school, but they all need to head out. So it looks like they're all going now. Look at them go. Needs are pretty good across the board. We're gonna have all of them study hard. I swear I just fed this cow plant. It's like a never ending like loop of always having to feed the cow plant. <laughs> Should we delete the cow plant? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> and then little Lucy is ready to take on the day. We are skill building we are doing all kinds of skills today she is gonna age up with the rest of the family so we're gonna be speeding through most of the day just know that that's what we're doing with lucy oh i forgot we had our gnome <laughs> there was too much that happened last episode and i forgot like <laughs> we have this gnome that helps our like needs go up maybe we'll just like bring that around with the toddler today but look if you have it near them, like their needs will just slowly rise. <laughs> oh yeah, we are about to do some serious skill building today. <laughs> My question is like, if I put it in her pockets, will it continue to make her stuff go up or does it have to be out in the world? That is the question. Okay, so it's in her pockets now. Let's see what happens. Okay, no, everything's going down now. I'm gonna invite Caleb over for a date because we have to get another one anyways. Oh, in nine hours, yes. Okay, we have to invite Caleb over for a date. I forgot we were doing that too. Long story short, I'm just forgetting things today. <laughs> okay, my panel is being really weird. Um, I feel like I have a little bug happening. Let me reset Ashton really fast. Yeah, I'm gonna exit and come back. <laughs> okay, I think we're back to normal now. That was kind of weird. So we can ask him on, let's ask to create a date. Oh my God, something's happening down here now. We'll do a romantic date. And then we're gonna just do it here because we need to stay with the toddler today. Oh no, like what is happening? Where is he? Caleb. Um, okay, I feel like, I don't know what to do. I'm like not selected on Ashton and it won't let me. Romantic date unsuccessful. Oh, uh, oh no, I'm gonna go to Manage Worlds. We're not gonna save, we're gonna just go and see if maybe coming back in will help. I haven't experienced any of these bugs before and most of the episode was fine, so it's weird that it would start happening now. Okay, um, tell you what, <laughs> on that note, let's end this episode right here because I'm kind of nervous about breaking my 100 baby challenge. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know your M names in the comments below if you have any suggestions. If you didn't know, we're going in ABC order to keep up. But let me know if you have any thoughts on who our next baby daddy should be or what Ashton's aspiration should be. I feel like it could be fun to stick with one of the new ones from Left Struck now, but I am open to change and I feel like we'll have Ashton for quite a while. So we have plenty of time to do a bunch of different aspirations if we want to. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Also, if you stayed until the very end, look who's here. He's so big now. <laughs> this is Apollo if you didn't know. He's probably about two months old now. But yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye. Mm -hmm.